Big thanks to Visit Bend for sponsoring this video. Go to visitbend.com to plan your next Bend, Oregon adventure today. So we're going to Bend, Oregon. So come with us. Like, we're gonna go. This is a YouTube video. We're gonna go to Bend and you're gonna come with us and we're gonna go drive there. So let's go. So we have made our way outside of Bend, Oregon. We are here with Visit Bend to show you guys this spectacular place if you love the outdoors. Uh, it's only three hours from where we're at and we're just exploring for the weekend. We're gonna go hiking, we're gonna go eating the food, drinking the ciders, we're gonna go on the water, it's gonna be great. And uh, right now we're heading to Paulina. I keep wanting to call it Paulina. Paulina Falls uh, outside of Bend. Do a little hike, take a little waterfall action. And uh, yeah, I mean, just look at the views behind me. The, the mountains, there's all kinds of mountains here. Like this place is like amazing year round. If you love climbing, if you love hiking, in the winter they're skiing and snowboarding. It's just like an outdoors person's paradise. And that's why everybody likes to come here from all over the country. So uh, yeah, come along, let's go. National Volcanic Monument and we're gonna go hike to Palina Falls. It's a half mile hike, I'm excited. And so much what we're trying to do with this hike is try to be as sustainable as possible with this whole trip. We're trying to be as sustainable as possible. So when we're going hiking, we're making sure we're staying on trails. We're trying to go hiking during times where it's not very busy to, to lower our impact on where we're going. And it's a really important, you know, when you're going places that, you know, that are popular like Palina Falls here, that you're doing your best to make the area around you sustainable and you know leaving things where they are you know leaving no trace leave only footprints and take only pictures in video so can't leave my camera behind can't leave my wife behind either my wife is here oh there's she's actually, you actually got in the shot this is a monumental occasion people So when hiking is super important to make sure you're leaving no trace, of course. And one thing that I love to emphasize is staying on trail. Um, National Forest Service does a really good job and works really hard, and, or whatever it is, National Forest Service, National Park Service, your state park service, your county or local municipality, they do a really good job and work really hard to make sure that you know, the trails are well maintained. And when you get off the trails, it messes with the, 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 the fauna and the foliage, it messes with you know, the habitats of wildlife. Um, yeah, so just, and also it messes around with erosion. When you're cutting through switchbacks, when it rains, water comes down, they can erode away the trail and those areas aren't rated and made for hiking. Whereas trails are specifically constructed and engineered for hiking. So it's super important that you stay on trail. Even if there is something really cool over there, you want to get that shot, stay on trail. It's our uh, switchbacks. You really want to cut through there, but it's going to mess up the trail so you stay on the trail. Please. It's a perfect example of people cutting the trail. You see the footsteps, boot prints. And it's eating away and it's going to eat more away at this trail and the trail's going to get thinner and thinner and thinner. When the rain comes, it's going to wash it down. Which is why you need to stay on trail. The, the National Forest Service is doing such a good job and working so hard to keep these things well maintained for us. So don't mess it up, please. So we've hiked to the bottom and just look at this thing. And it's just funny to think about how this whole thing was, this was where the waterfall was at one point. And over there is where the waterfall was at one point. And so many amazing places like this all over Central Oregon, all over Bend. It's amazing. I love it. Part of being prepared is knowing trail length, understanding the conditions, and also remembering if you're used to hiking around between one and 4,000 feet, and oh, it's only 150 feet of elevation gain. And you're like, why am I so winded? Because you're currently at 6,200 feet. So that's kind of stuff, do your research, be prepared when you're going on any hike. So we made it to Bend, great hike. And uh, we're going to the Bend Visitor Center because anytime you go anywhere, you want to know before you go. You want all the information you can possibly get about where you're going, about the local conditions, trail conditions, and the Visit Bend office is freaking amazing because they have all that information for you about trails. You just ask the questions. Like you can go here, you can go there, places to eat, places to stay, places to hike, and it's really just a great resource. 
So during our trip to Bend, we stayed here at Lodge, which stands for Live Outside, Go Explore. This place is great. It's like a great hub for all the different things you want to do, whether it's winter sports or hiking or climbing. So much amazing like, like accommodations here. Um, highly suggest. And, th and these hotels are all over. Like, I know there's one in Shasta and not too far from me. And yeah, it's just a really cool place. Come see. So Bend has so many amazing hotels and motels and places to stay. Lodge is absolutely amazing. It's outdoorsy themed. It's got so many amenities, whether you're hiking or biking or whatever. I just love this place. And it's just a cool place to kind of be your home base as you're going out and exploring the area and the Deschutes National Forest and the Three Sisters Wilderness, Mount Bachelor. It's just a great home base overall. So editing Andy here, um, once we got checked into our hotel, we headed out um, into the wilderness. We actually uh, got with the Deschutes Land Trust which is an organization that's mission is to conserve and care for the lands of water that sustain Central Oregon. Um, so local communities in the natural world can flourish together. They do so many amazing hikes. I went to a star party where we uh, got to talk with astronomers and, and see, oh, I, saw, I saw Saturn's rings for the first time. It was pretty awesome. But unfortunately, I don't have a whole lot of good footage of that. I did try some astral photography for the first time. Um, so here it is. But go check out the, uh, the Shoots Land Trust. Link's going to be in the description of this video. I had a really good time. And if you ever go to Central Oregon, they, they coast so many hikes and events um, and everyone the staff there are so knowledgeable so make sure you check them out hey that's some little falls here it's early the reason i'm here so early is to lessen the impact i have on my visit here at some falls one of the most popular hiking areas around bend uh, because when you come like during peak times a lot of people here traffic kicks up dust but if you come during all times it lessens the impact on the trail on the environment around you so, uh, yeah, I got up really early this morning, and uh, look at this. Pretty awesome. So I think one of the things Bend is most well known for is the mill district, the old mill district here. And you got shopping, and you got the Deschutes River here, and kids playing. It's just, it's just a great place to hang out after a hike, or after, you know, a float down the river, or a ride, or whatever. It's, it's fun and I really enjoy it. I always try to make my way down here at some point when I visit Bend. So we're hiking along the Deschutes River on the Deschutes River Trail in uh, Tumalo State Park and it's a gorgeous day. And the thing is about Bend, these places are everywhere, all around the city, in the city. The Deschutes River runs right through. I mean, just freaking look at this. It's amazing. And it's so well maintained, so well kept, and people have been really do take Leave No Trace seriously. Things like staying on trail, things like, you know, going during opportune times when it's not too busy, leaving wildlife alone, you know, take only pictures, leave only footprints to keep this area pristine. And I just gosh dang love it. It's gorgeous. One thing I love about Ben is all the food options, especially for someone like me who has celiac disease and can't have gluten. Um, and the places here like the Blissful Spoon are amazing and they're safe for me to eat. And this is a part of the video where I'm cueing the montage of all the food. Andy here again with the voiceover and I have a hard time finding places to eat when I travel because I have celiac disease and I have to have a strict gluten-free diet, uh, which usually kind of keeps me to like chain restaurants I know I can trust not the case in bend so many amazing options so much amazing food and drink ciders gluten-free beers gluten-free burgers i had oh i mean i was just i was spoiled while i was here my friends at visit bend.com really helped me out i contacted them they gave me a whole list of places i already knew some of the places like el sancho's here um but so much amazing food so much amazing drinks whether you're gluten-free or not the blissful spoon amazing option love the blissful food spoon so much oh my gosh so yeah food and drink scene here is legit so we are going to end our trip to bend the same way we started in the newbury national volcanic monument except we're going up to lava butte and we're going to drive up there check it out we're going to check the visitor center out real quick and then head back to southern oregon let's go voiceover andy here again um lava butte in the uh, Lava Lands Visitor Center is a cinder cone that rises 500 feet above the Lava Lands Visitor Center in the Newberry National Volcanic Monument. It's an amazing place. You can drive up, you can hike up, see all the lava flows, the lava beds. Um, the Visitor Center was amazing. So much information. I would totally encourage you all to make it up there if you can. So this is the uh, end of our trip. Bend is an amazing place. 
you love the outdoors, whether it's you just want to go drive and see some cool places, or you're going to climb, or raft, or kayak, or hike, or ski, or whatever. It's amazing. I love this place. Uh, we're going to head home now, but big thanks to Visit Ben for having us out. And uh, go to visitben.com to plan your bin trip today. This video was sponsored by Visit Ben. Um, it's an amazing resource for an amazing place. Anyways, y'all have a great day. Make sure you like, subscribe, share, all that fun stuff. Follow me on the socials, at Andy Films and Hikes. And uh, we'll see you later. I'm gonna go hike down this here and get back to my car.